these are all the parts that I've purchased or manufactured for my new rotary flail hedge trimmer. The main deck is made from 5mm steel plate welded and strengthened with steel bar. This has been drilled in the middle to take the rotary armature and the quick release attachment point. There's a red pedestal which holds the bearings and rotor and then we have two pieces that hold the hydraulic motor in place and for adjustment. Quick release attachment pickup point and the main flail rotary arm. These are the main items that I had to purchase. The main one being the hydraulic motor, the pressure relief valve block, pedestal bearings, self aligning for the 30mm diameter shaft, and two taper lock pulleys, plus the four flails. The pressure relief block I've modified so that one side pressure relieves and the other valve acts as a non-return valve or zero pressure for the overrun so when the hydraulic pressure is removed suddenly the motor continues spinning and circulates the hydraulic oil without doing damage. Here we have the motor and valve assembly. This is a unidirectional hydraulic motor so it only requires an inlet and outlet hydraulic feed uh, with no bleed off pipe. The valve block here uh, gives me pressure relief on the main feed so if the motor is stalled it's protected by the pressure relief valve. The second relief valve I have modified to act as a one-way valve so that when the hydraulic pressure is suddenly stopped and the motor tries to spin the hydraulic fluid can still rotate through the pump from the outlet back into the inlet until it stops. I've mounted the hydraulic motor on a separate plate which is attached by four bolts and added the put pulley to the output of the motor. Here you can see that I've assembled the pedestal and its bearing and the rotor and flails to the deck. This shows the assembly of the hydraulic motor attachment plate to the deck and the quick attachment arm supported by two plates to provide extra strength. The final output drive is driven by a, a V-belt directly from the motor. This gives the added advantage of being able to increase or decrease the speed from the motor and isolating the motor from the high vibration of the coat cutting rotor. The final bit of the assembly is the hydraulic motor on its plate attaching it to the deck plate. There are slots on the attachment plate so the motor belt tension can be adjusted and when in final plate position the front pulley is protected by a plastic guard to keep debris from entering the void. Hydraulic installation here we have the high pressure input running down to the pressure relief valve block. From there it goes straight round into the motor inlet and from the motor inlet back into the pressure relief valve block before going back onto the return pipe. This pressure relief valve sets the max pressure to the motor and this valve I've modified to act as a one-way valve for the overrun 
when the hydraulic pressure is released. Initial test after installation. 